everyone. How are you today? Let's see if I can find this on the iPad while I wait for everyone to join. First one there. All right, let me get it sprinkled out. All right, there we go. Hello, hello. As you can see, we are in the garage already. Hey, Joni. I hope it's cooler in Michigan than it is here today. I've been out in the garage whew, falling over for uh, about two hours already marbling. Hi Pat, welcome. Um, it's been, this is the last day of my vacation and I'm melting out here. Hope you can hear me. Please let me know if you can hear me okay. I have my earbuds again today because I'll be walking around in the garage and I thought this is a little bit better. They could pop out from time to time so. I'll try to keep them in. Hopefully they don't end up in the tank. Let me know if you can hear me. That's my biggest concern. Great, perfect. Thank you, Joni. Okay, so before I get the phone connected to the power cord, I thought I'd show you um, what I've been doing. I had to find a new paper. I'm using the very last sheets of my very favorite paper tonight. And, um, I have to find a new paper so thank you Pat I have been marbling with it very carefully um, I've had a few incidents in that tears super easy when I'm pulling it off the uh, water and taking it off the board but let me before I get started tonight let me go show you what I've already done and I know I look a fright but um, I've been out here a while and it's hot so let me turn you around. Look, there's the ceiling. All right, there's the garage floor. So here are, and it's backwards for me, a few of the papers. I know the lighting's bad back here. And then I have these over here. Let's see which way to go. And that has taken me, hi Shelly, about two hours to get all of that done. Um, you know me and trying to decide on the design and the colors. And I came out here with a few colors in mind. So, phew, I have this big project I'm doing. I'm working on something special for the out of the, uh, whoops, sorry about that. Um, oh, my phone's going to fall again. I already lost the stand once right before I came on. Um, let me turn you back around. I'm working on a project for the out of the box workshop. So if you're attending that, look for a surprise from me in your swag box. And uh, of course, I had to run out of my good paper when I was cruising right along, getting everything ready. And then everything had to come to a screeching halt for a little bit. While I did some research, I looked online, I looked everywhere, can't find it. So we're making do. But um, so I'm going to marble paper tonight. I have a deadline to get it to Texas by September 1st. So that's coming quickly. And uh, I've been working very hard while I've been off. And one more thing before we get started tonight, I wanted to show you, if you remember the fabric I marbled not too long ago, last week maybe, week and two weeks ago, don't remember, um, I marbled the pieces of white denim. Well, here's what I turned them into. So these are some tote bags. They are unlined, but this is denim, so they're very sturdy. The, the seams on the inside are uh, 
zigzagged and sealed, so they should not fray, if, if at all, be very, very tiny. So there's one. Here's the blue one. And here's the pink one. So um, this one's pink and teal, two, two shades of pink and teal. The pink one has been, um, thank you, Shelly, has been listed in my Etsy shop. The uh, blue one is next to go up. It helps the algorithm, algorithm on Etsy if I list something like once a day. So over the next few days, um, be looking for some new product to be popping up there. I actually did my photography that I needed to do. I have the Christmas ornaments photographed. And so um, I've got a lot of, lot of listings to make yet. I've been doing that. But while I've been off, I sewed those tote bags. And that was so much fun. Um, what else did I do? I did all of my photography. I almost finished another hat uh, beading that. And of course, I ran out of beads of one color. Lord only knows if I'll find the rest. Um, I've been working on the swag project. And um, mostly that's what I've been focusing on other than the sewing bit. So without any more Yik, yakety yak, yik yak. I don't know what I'm going to say. Um, we'll get started marbling. I already have some colors picked out for the first one. Uh, I tried it right before I was done here or before I came on live and I didn't like it. So I cleared it. We'll try the same colors again. So hold on, going for a ride. And excuse the uh, mess you're going to see. Maybe I'll turn you down before you have to see the mess. So let me. Turn this down. I'll turn it over like this. Turn it down a little more. I was supposed to finish. I have a sewing cabinet that used to be my mother's. And I started painting it with chalk paint. And I haven't finished yet. So oh, let me get it plugged in here. I can't tell. Sorry. Okay, I think we're set. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm using two shades of purple and a little bit of black. This, um, the new paper does not take heavily pigmented colors very well. So, um, I have to be careful about the color choices. I do have a few sheets of my old paper left and we will work on that tonight and then I can use some a little bit more fun paper or I mean colors. But I'm just so sad that I can't find a paper I like any longer. I looked all over the place. I looked on the company's website who made it and it's not even shown on their website anymore. So I spent, oh, several hours trying to see if there was some place I could get that. And I've just come up empty. My um, water here is old. And you can only use the water so many times. Let me get my comments up here. There they are. Um, and whoops, hold on, my earbud just fell out. I tell you, next time I'm getting different ones when I get these so they don't fall out all the time. But um, you can only use the water so much each time I, well, it's not the case here. I was gonna say each time you put a piece that's been prepped in here, some of the alum comes off in the water, but the pieces that I'm using are unalumed. 
the paper doesn't need to be prepped to take the color, which is saves me a step. But it's see how it's uh, really jaggedy edges. I think it gets that way when the the uh, water gets old. And so this will be my last time using this water. Next Monday we'll have fresh water to use. Okay, I was using my stone pattern earlier and flinging paint. I got paint all over my iPad case. I have paint or not case, but uh, stand. I have paint all over. What do I do with my... I've lost my lid. Did somebody see it fall into the tank? Yeah, oh, here it is. It fell in the trash. Um, I got paint everywhere which is why I do the stone pattern outside. But we're going to continue on tonight with, I added a little bit of uh, fresh water right before I fresh, not freshly mixed, but some paint that I, or gosh, I'm tired guys. It's, this heat is getting to me out here. Some w water that I'd used before, but was new to the tank. I added that right before I came on to see if I could freshen it up just a little bit. I can do four sheets of paper in this tank at a time. I, when I was working, I had filled it about this full, and then um, I think I might need just a little bit more. I uh, worked it so much, it was very shallow, so I needed some more. Needed some more paint. I needed some more water. Been out here just listening to my phone some podcasts and some YouTube videos. Just in my little old, own little world. Okay. The first time, like I said, I did this, I don't think I had enough black in it and I did not like the design that the way it turned out. So I just cleared it off. I think my husband said it's about 86 degrees in the garage, which I know is not terrible compared to what some of you have. 30% humidity, which it makes me melt. but it could be worse. I'm not freezing. They say sweating is good for you. I'm not sure that I believe them. Did my walk this morning since I've been off. I walked two laps every day and big news. I am um, on Thursday morning. I was walking along and I just had the feeling that I needed to try to run. I don't run. I am not a runner. You see me running, you'd better run too, because there's something bad wrong. Ugh, 104. Oh, and how much humidity do you have in Houston? Ugh. So I was walking along and thought, well, if I go from this fence line to the corner of the street, which is not a long way, I wonder what's going to happen. I just, I don't know why. It was just something told me it's time to try it. I'd like to know if I could just in the event 
Oh, I believe it, Kathy. I believe it. Um, so I took a deep breath and I was able to run. I don't know. I can't do distance. I have no clue how far it was. It was not very far. And I'm sure it was pretty ugly. But um, but I did it very slowly. And I had no pain. It My leg feels very heavy still. And I don't know if that's because of all of them, my hardware in there or what, but um, I did it every day. I didn't walk yesterday. I got up, my tummy was not happy, so I didn't walk yesterday, but I did walk this morning and I decided not to run because my ankle was hurting last night when I was trying to go to sleep. Not like there was an injury, but like, I don't know how to describe it. When I very first started uh, weight bearing again, my ankle hurt. And it was kind of like that. It was just like it wasn't used to what I was doing. So I thought I'd give it a rest. All right, here we go. So I'm going to turn around here and rinse these off. And now the black is heavily pigmented, obviously. And it's actually behaving quite nicely. These sheets, whoops, hold on. My earbud's falling out. And right into the water. Hold on. Can you hear me still? I don't know if you can hear me today or still. Can you hear me? Okay. It fell right into the water, so, and then it said call ended. So I'm guessing that means it's no longer going to work. I knew that was going to happen. All right, so let me get these put down, and then I will be right back to the phone, near the phone. All right, let's get the other two out of there. Oops, this tears so easily. I felt like this, this one, the first one I pulled out tore just a little bit. Okay, I'm just rinsing them. This rinses the excess paint off and any of the, the size that comes out of the tank with it. I generally don't like it when it leaves splotches in the tank, you know, where the color will not go. But this looks kind of cool. All right, I'm 
I'm going to go put these down. I actually have just uh, some great big garbage bags laid out on the floor. I really wanted to work out here today because of the heat. I wanted that paper to dry. After it's dry, I take it up and I press it flat with the iron. And then I put it in a press for a while and just gets it nice and flat before I use it. And this paper, it's not as nice as my paper. It doesn't take quite as crisp of a uh, print. But it works. I've tried so many that don't work. And, you know, short of buying one of everything at the art store, I did a test run yesterday to see if this would work and if I needed to um, prep it first. Almost have it all out. It's a little bit of purple hugging the edge over on the right here. And then there's a little bit poking out right there, but I can get that on the next. So does anybody have a color um, way you'd like to see? You know, I noticed earlier when I did the black, it wanted to sink. And you'll see some of that coming up from the bottom right here. I tried to use it earlier and it was sinking. I do like the size of this new paper. It's an eight and a half by 11 standard size, which I do like. just so sad about my paper. I used to use a different paper and I may have to go back to that. I used that other one for quite some time and then I found this one and switched over or the one that I'm not gonna use anymore. So I have four sheets of the other one. So if you want any nice, vibrant colors. Yes, I do, Kathy. Hi, Tracy. Thank you, Diana. Popping all the bubbles. So what are your thoughts on colors? Yesterday, I did a black and gray. I'm not going to use a lot of black, though, today. I'm just stumped for colors. What have I not used? I've done some blue today. Oh, that's empty. Let's use these two and white and yellow. How about that? Blue and yellow, does that sound good? Let's use this softer yellow. Hardly any in it. Yes. Ooh. 
need to replenish my yellows. All right, let me get a paper towel. So the, the process that I'm doing with these papers is quite extensive because I have to uh, marble the papers, press the papers, cut the papers, and then I have to do some gluing, three sets of gluing, and it's quite lengthy actually. But, and I had, when I, thought it up, I thought, oh, this will be super quick. And then another thing that I discovered with this new paper, when I did the samples yesterday and, it, you know, to see if it was going to work, they, um, I cut them like I always do. And when I went to put the, everything together today, it was like an eighth of an inch. You know how it's eight and a half by 11? Well, it was like eight and three eighths by 11. So I think it shrunk. So all the other pages that I cut, I had to go trim them down. And I was not a happy camper. But that's what happens sometimes. We'll see what the these full sheets, because the other ones were... Um, cut already. So let's see when I marble the full sheets if they still shrink a little bit. Look at that. That that's sinking. That you saw the tail can you see the tail in there? doesn't come out, doesn't come out, and then all of a sudden it all comes out. I was really going to try to work on the pumpkin while I was off. You know, I always have big plans of all the things I'm going to get done while I'm off, and then the time goes by so quickly that I didn't get it done. And I wanted to do some paint pouring, and I didn't get that done. But it's more important that I work on this project. So we'll do that another day. I keep trying to decide what I'm going to do. I know what I want to do. I have to, there, I have a big mess over here to my left. Boxes. This is where all my wreathing supplies and ribbons and, you know, artificial flowers and all of that. And I have to unbury them to get to them. So that is, you know, kind of, I have to be pretty motivated to want to get back in there. Which, had I uncovered my sewing machine cabinet and painted it, I would have had access to everything. But since I didn't do that, I'm going to comb this one again. I just like that design. It's so fun. And then I think we will do this same. Oh, I forgot the yellow. Oh, thanks, Wanda. Yeah, I can still add it. Totally spaced out the yellow. Look at that push that yellow out of there. 
that yellow pushes everything out. Yeah, I'm not liking this. Let's start again. I did have noticed that I came to get paper out of my paper stash that I've been collecting um, for quite a while. And it's like less than half full now. So I need some new print. Now, if I do this right the next time, that's going to be really pretty. again. And you know what I think I'm going to do? We're going to do it in a different order. We're going to start with yellow because that's such a pushy color. The yellow went down in the tank a lot better than that white did. Let's do the light blue. Come on. Almost out of this color. just a little bit more. I am going to put some white in here too. I hear it in there. Now a little bit of white, and if you don't mind and haven't done so, I would love it if you would sprinkle out this video. Oh look at, now the white doesn't even want to do anything. That's not going to show at all. All right, so. Try again. It'll have a whole different look from the first one. So the first one had no yellow. This one has no white. 
I am not surprised I have color sinking and things misbehaving tonight because the humidity is so high. And since I have this uh, blue, I don't know, we'll I'll have to decide if I'm going to use two sheets of my, the two last sheets of my good paper or if I'm going to use the new paper. All right. Now let's get these home. I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm not going to swirl through it. And let's try um, let's try the new paper because I can fit four sheets of that in here. And I do like maximizing what I pull from a tank. Now, actually, let's do, I can fit two of the others, too. So this is one of the last sheets of my good paper. Look how pretty that is. Okay. So now we'll get a very good comparison of which paper took this design best. Put that on there the wrong way. I gotta rinse this one first. So the darker blue wants to run on this paper. I don't know if I'm going to like this sheet or use it or not. The lighter blue looks really good on that paper, but the, the darker one when I uh, am, you can kind of see it, see it running here, right there, and it just keeps running. So I don't know what I'm going to think of that. We'll see how it dries. I have a feeling I'm not going to like it. So now let's take out the other paper and see how it looks. Paris. So let me rinse it and see what and what I see.
Well, now I'm sad because it's running on this paper too. So that color just wants to be a pill. Phthalo blue green shade is the one that's causing issues tonight. I will not use that one again tonight. I may see if I can pull these up after I'm done and rinse them again and rinse some of that off. All right, so that, <laughs> that color dripped from the paper onto my plastic, so I had to mop it up in a few spots because when I lay the other pieces down, I didn't want it to soak up that color. I don't know for sure, Wanda, what it is. It could be either of those things. It could be that... Um, I need to thin that down a little bit more. It seemed to behave well on the water. So I'm not sure. I was just thinking I'll have to ask on the website I'm on and see if anybody has some thoughts. Some people that kind of running doesn't bother them, but it does me. I like nice crisp colors or lines. Okay, I'm going to set that color over here by itself in the corner. And also, the uh, my good paper was not prepped either, so that could play into it. I I think it can be done either way with that paper. I generally will prep mine. One thing I do like is I can use that for something. There will be pieces on there that are just fine, and so I will cut around the parts I don't like. All right, so this is empty. Anybody have a color suggestion? Thank you, Diana. I'm trying to stick with colors that are not super saturated. I haven't done pink while I'm on screen. Should I do pink? Good 
Let's do pink, pink, and yellow. We haven't done that combination yet. So the next two pieces of my good paper are um, have been prepped. Oh, I should have used yellow first, huh? So what I'm going to do, let's come around the outside. Got a little heavy there. Now I'll add some white. This is going to be interesting. Oh, that's right. White didn't like they go on the yellow. Let's see what the pink does. It's weird. Can't decide if this oh if this is more of a uh, cotton candy pink or bubblegum pink. I need to stop squeezing the bottle. You can tell I haven't done a show in a while. We're going to comb this one, too, just because I'm having fun being able to use my big comb. Hey, there's see the little centers in these. We need to wait for it to disperse. Yeah, I wish I had that fancy sink that I saw that Marbler have where I could have just left those two um, pieces up there on the drain board or four pieces. The paint booger in there. And um, keep rinsing it. When I have a second, just keep rinsing that off. So again, we'll do two pages, my last two pages of the good paper, and then we'll do two pages with the other and see what we get this time. See how that's just breaking up in little splotches? That's not normal. After I use this tank, when I'm done, I'll take it out and use my rinse bucket to rinse the excess paint. 
that's left in there and any of the size that's left in. Here's a bubble. All right, there we go. It was so nice to be able to come out here and not have to hurry home and hurry and eat and all of that today. It was nice to, I came out about five o'clock my time and uh, I ate dinner early and then I got busy marbling. Got that cleaned off. Let me get the papers. Oh, that's pretty. That was a good combo. Those colors are staying in place very nicely. Okay, let's get the other two off of here. I have to be so careful. And this paper took it well also. So see what I mean? But some highly saturated colors, they just don't want to behave some days. And the, the little bit of that white is on this one, but it's not on that. So how fun is that? I do like it with the white in there, but I, it's fine without also. I just about lost one of the sheets. Down into the rinse bucket. Whew. Okay. 
Be thinking of colors for me, please. Got to get some more newsprint out. I've done some fall colors today. I've used some green. Um, Ramona, it's just paper tonight. I'm working on a project for out of the box um, event, live event. And I had to get some new paper to try. I've had one sheet or one tank not turn out very well so far. I have lots of things I need to get done. Marble wise, I have some special orders, but I've got to get this done. All right, one more time, I think. All right. Gray teal and black. I haven't done that one yet tonight. Have I? No, I did gray teal and yellow, but that's, we just want a little bit of black. Where's my gray? here. That's a good combo. I like it. Let's see. Paper towel. Had to rinse or empty the rinse bucket into the, um, the bucket where I scoop the water from so I could have enough water to scoop the next one. Trying to concentrate on not squeezing the bottle very hard. You know, I just mixed up some new white the other day, and it's almost all gone already. Again, I'm just using a little bit of black because that can run.
I'm going to come in with a little bit more of the teal. This is just a light teal, trying to avoid heavily pigmented colors tonight. And I'm going to comb it again. I'll do my lines just a little bit farther apart. Ugh, I've got to go back to my day job tomorrow. Just not looking forward to that. I so prefer the creative life. Fortunately, that does not yet pay the bills. I kind of like the way there's just a little bit of black. I wish this one over here on the side was more toward the uh, center, more over here. Should I swirl through this or not? Let's leave it. It looks so darn cool when I take the paper off. Please, black, please stay in place. I always try to put them in different directions. very pretty. Let's just see how that black behaves. Dang it.
just lost the corner of one of those sheets. Pulled right off. I was trying to be so gentle. Here's the second batch. See if I can get these un unscathed over to the drying area. They always want to fall off the board when I'm rinsing, but when I get it over there to put it down, they want to stick. Almost done here. Those are pretty. All right. Dry my hands and get the tank cleaned up. Let me go look and see what we have for color. Trying to decide what color to use next. I'd like to use like yellow and black, but I just don't want that black to be an issue. And it doesn't, we don't want just yellow. I really want to use red, but that's really going to be a, a mess, I have a feeling. Do it once more. Yeah, I think red and orange are both going to be a problem. I tried some yesterday, and and that was in the paint that's a little less pigmented, and it just was a terrible disaster. I ended up throwing those sheets away while they were still wet. They came off of the uh, water and onto the tray and into the trash. I used, when I was testing yesterday, I cut the sheets in half, and I just used a little baking pan that I have for small objects, and I just marbled in that small baking pan. So let's see. Let's try this. We'll try the yellow and the orange. Oh, I want to use the red so bad.
You think that'll look okay together? No, I'm not using that blue again. It was misbehaving. This is like a very light mint green color with the yellow and orange. Let's give it a try. And I'm gonna use the mint green as the white in place of the white. I have to find a different paper that's going to take highly pigmented colors. I can't just marble with, come on. with the uh, light colors. Of course, I didn't bring a pen out here with me. Oh, look at there. Paint boogers. Whoops, I just sunk it. I don't think I have a dropper out here. I do not. All right. I'm determined to get this on the water here. All right, finally. So now we'll do the orange. Orange had no problem coming out of the, t the bottle. Now yellow. 
Now look at this yellow compared to the yellow I was using before that just pushed so hard. This one's a little bit better behaved. And I think I want to come back with some more of the orange. Okay. Anywhere there is a gap in the paint is just where the paper is going to show through. Anybody tell me what time it is? Ouch. These pins are sharp. Okay, let's see what we get. Sharon, what um, time zone are you? Eastern. Okay, so it's 8.30 here then. I have to remember I have to go to work tomorrow. So this will probably be our last tank. So I have to get things cleaned up. All right, let's get these pulled out and see how they look. You can barely even tell that green is there. It, there's kind of a hint of green to it. It's very pale, but there you can. I know the lighting isn't very well nice in here. But it, it looks almost white, but it, there is a green to it.
So when I get home from work tomorrow, I should have lots of dry paper to iron. And this is just perfect because I only have two spots left on my plastic. So this is working out perfectly. Just a hint of that green in the back. I'm anxious to see how it looks when it's dry. One thing I do like about the new paper is that it's a nice bright white. The other is kind of an off white. This orange is behaving very nicely. The one I used yesterday certainly did. Uh, it just tore it stuck to the board. See if I can get the other one off. All right, let me pull you down and I'll show you what we have. Hold on. Oh, hi there. Let's see. Fat fingers. Okay. This is one of the reasons I like working in the garage. Look at me, I made a huge mess and it doesn't even matter. It's just water. And the lighting is going to Let me turn you the other way so I can know which way I'm going. So these are the four I just did. That's the ones with the black in it. They look pretty good. Yellow, that looks good. So there's that blue and yellow. Look how ran and how much it ran on that. You can really see it on this one. Right here, around there. See all this here? Right there. There's some purple and black I did earlier. And then there's some fall colors. Then way over there, which I can't get to right now, is some teal and gray and yellow and some green, green and yellow. The green and yellow, that has the background that has the same light green I just used, that mint green. And then here's the uh, more teal and gray. Oh, I'm going to sneeze, guys. And then here's the, I did some blue and gray. That turned out really and then the stone pattern with the pink and purple. So that's all I have tonight, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I know I look a wreck, but I've been out here now for three and a half hours in the heat. So I've got nice rosy cheeks. And um, have a wonderful week. Uh, 
If you see someone without a smile, give them one of yours. It doesn't cost you anything, and it just might make their day. So take care. Um, if I have a chance, I'll pop in later this week and do a little paint pouring. But right now, I'm truly focused on getting my swag ready to ship. So take care, everyone. Thank you for being here. Bye.